We're back at it. Father, son, Minecraft, and this time, we're gonna try to go to the nether. I'm scared. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Key and welcome back to Minecraft and as you can see, very special guest Seth is joining me yet again today and we're returning to our father-son Minecraft world. In the last episode we managed to make our ugly house slightly uglier, but also bigger so you know it's got that going for it which is pretty cool. Today though, I'm thinking that we should try and get to the nether. Now, I know that's a terrible idea, but I haven't actually seen the nether since it's been like changed and upgraded. So I wanna check it out. And also it'll be the first time that Seth has ever been to the nether. So it's going to be a monumental experience for him. But before we make our journey into the depths of the nether, and the scariness that awaits us there. Uh, I need food, like desperately. We have no food and that is very, very not good. So I am on the hunt for some kind of food. I mean, it would be great if we could find some cows, turn those cows into some delicious steaks, maybe even pigs. I'm not picky. We could eat the sheep, right? Because they drop mutton, but I feel like they're more valuable as wool. I, I don't know. We could also start an actual farm, but that takes too long. <laughs> I don't have the patience and neither does Seth, to be honest. Pigs, we got bacon. Give me the bacon. Give me the bacon. Give, give me all of your bacon. Ham. Give me the bacon. Bacon. Okay, all right, all right, we got bacon. I'm feeling a little bit better. So let's head back to base and cook up some of this bacon. We also have some raw chicken in our inventory. Okay, so we're cooking up some chicken. We're cooking up some pork chops. Then once we complete our cooking task, we have our diamond pickaxe. We need to go get obsidian which means it's time to go underground. I'm scared. Also, in addition to obsidian, we're gonna need more iron because we have to make a uh, flint and steel, you know, to light the portal. Okay, so I feel like we've got enough stuff. Let's head down into the darkness. I'm so scared. I mean, honestly, it's not that dark because I put torches. Also, oh, I don't have torches. Hopefully we can just find obsidian in a spot that I've already been. There's gotta be obsidian down here, right? There's, there's bedrock. Oh, this is scary. There's lava right underneath me. Okay, we got some redstone. Sure, awesome. Okay, okay. This is an area that we've been before, but I don't remember it. Is this where we found the diamond? I think this might actually be where we found our first diamonds. That was awesome. And that was also a very long time ago. <laughs> all right, well, I guess all we can really do is just start digging. Now, I also recognize that you can make your own obsidian using water and lava. So actually, now that I think about it, that's probably the route we should go. In fact, there was some lava on the surface that is really easy to get to. I just need iron unless, do I have a bucket? I don't have a bucket. Okay, that's a bit of a bummer. All right, let's get out of this mine. I feel like we're just kind of spinning our wheels here. What I really need right now is iron. Right, Seth? Uh -huh. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, good. It's nighttime. That's always fun. I did see that there was a mine, I think, over here. Oh no, that's lava. That's the lava. Oh, here we go. I see iron. Please don't hurt me. Something shot me. Oh, or it was a spider. I don't know. Either way, I want to get to this iron. <gasps> I forgot you can climb. You're so powerful. All right, iron. Sweet. It's not a ton, but it's enough to make a bucket. Okay, so now that I've found myself in this very deep pit, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get out. Didn't exactly think this through entirely, but I did find more iron, so that's pretty cool, right? I'm gonna use some stone here to just get out of this place. I need to get out of this place. We gotta get out of here. Let's just build ourselves out of here and never look back. Going up. Oh, shoot. 
there's a creeper. Okay, okay, okay. It's it's fine. It's fine. I love your hat, by the way, Seth. Very cool. Okay, get away. Oh, something's behind me. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, it's all falling apart. Please. I I don't want you shears against you. Okay. No! I just fell down a hole. I just fell down the hole that I was in. Oh my gosh. I hate this so much. Get me out of here. Okay, okay. I ate. Now we just gotta get out of here. I hate this place. I hate everything about it. Please let me out. <gasps> Why? Why were you there? Why you do this to me? Why? Get away, zombie! Oh yeah. Whew. Okay. Everything is totally fine. It's fine. I wasn't scared. <laughs> I wasn't scared at all. That wasn't scary. <laughs> I was scared. I was definitely scared, but we managed to escape. And now we can smelt our iron, make a bucket. And I'm hoping that I'm thinking this through correctly. If I make a bucket, fill it up with water and then let the water flow on top of the lava, it turns to obsidian, right? Right? That's, is that the way it works? I don't know. Okay, let's execute this plan. There's water. Sweet. And then the lava is right over there. We collect the water. There's a skeleton just hanging out in that cave. Hate that. Yep. Yep. I absolutely agree, Seth. Absolutely. Okay, so if I pour the water next to the lava, we've got obsidian. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. So how much obsidian do we actually need? It's two on the bottom, right? And then three on the sides. So is it eight? You need eight pieces of obsidian? That sounds about right. Don't mind me. This should only take one or 12 lifetimes. Okay, that's a little scary. Uh, we've got a layer of lava underneath our obsidian. I don't love that. How much obsidian do I have? I have five. And Seth is just throwing everything within arm's reach off of my desk. He's so mad that obsidian takes so long. To mine. Oh, hello, Enderman. I'm not gonna look at you because I don't want you to murder me. I think this is our last block of obsidian. <sighs> if I caught it. Did I catch it? I caught it. Okay. All right, we're good. Let's build ourselves a portal to the nether realm. Also, let's put away some of the stuff that we don't want to lose. Okay, so if, I, if I'm doing this correctly, it's uh, two on the bottom, and then you go one, two, three up. One, two, three. And my math is completely wrong. I'm so dumb. You need 10. Seth, if you ever need help with your math homework, don't come to dad. Clearly, he's not qualified. Our nether portal is nearly complete. We still need to make a flint and steel. But there you go. That should be a functional nether portal. Now, a flint and steel requires flint. Do I have flint? Just like to let you guys know, I don't have any flint. Where do you get flint? I think that you get flint in gravel? I also don't have a shovel for mining gravel, but I feel like it shouldn't be that hard to find flint, right? I just need to show some gravel who's boss. Oh, creeper, creeper, get him. Don't get him, get him. Okay, we got it. And he gave us gunpowder, which is not what we're looking for. One hour later. All right, so what has become the world's longest and most embarrassing search for gravel continues on. And I'm also lost? Wait, that is a house that I built, but not the house that I built. Three hours later. I found my house. But guess what? I also have not found gravel and therefore have no flint. Oh, cool. A creeper blew up my house and then a skeleton made himself at home, shot me with an arrow right in the face. This is going really well. Still haven't made it to the nether. One eternity later. Against all odds, a flint and steel is finally in our hands. This has been a nightmare. Seth is extremely done. I'm extremely done. Let's go to the nether and end this nightmare. Or continue it because we're actually going to the nether, which is like an awful place.
All right, Seth, prepare yourself. Okay, we actually lit the portal. I'm losing my mind. Let's go to the nether. Oh my goodness. I can't believe how hard it was to just find stinking gravel. What in the world happened to the nether? This is so different from the last time I played Minecraft. Holy moly, this place is terrifying. It's like if the ocean was made of lava, basically. This is crazy. Actually, it's super cool. What are you? What is this? Is a warthog or something? And then the, the pigmen? Are you gonna attack me? You're gonna attack me? I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. You just pushed me into lava. I am so dead. I. Well, that went well. Let's go back. <laughs> I want to see just a little bit more of the nether. But like I said, Seth and I are both pretty much done with Minecraft for now. Okay. Uh, the, that was not there the last time I went into the nether. Now there is a pool of lava basically just on top of my nether portal. That's neat. Okay, I can go this way. At least I can go that way. Did all my stuff burn up in that lava? It kind of appears that way. Um, you think I, I can just punch through this? What do you- oh. Okay, that is not a pigman. It's a piglin. What's a piglin? I don't know. It's that thing. <laughs> I don't like the nether. I mean, it's really cool. And obviously, if I was more prepared to do battle in the nether, it would go a lot better. But the fact that I just get to see it is is pretty cool. I just, I need to get through this so that I can get to my stuff, please. Okay, my diamond pickaxe lived. That's good, right? Let's re-equip some of our armor. I think I lost, oh no, I saw my leggings, okay. And then, <gasps> what do you do? what is with these crazy warthogs? Get out of here, you stinky warthog. Where are you going? Now you're gonna run away from me? push me into the lava and then you run away cowards cowards i tell you where'd he go he disappeared oh there he is oh but i found mama warthog oh gosh J -j 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 stop okay okay that is a pigment he looks a little different they have like they have ears now which is actually really cool i know all this stuff is probably not new to you guys but it's definitely new to me and it's definitely new to seth it's creepy out here and i do not like that these baby Warthogs keep attacking me. Get out of here, you stinky warthog. Okay, what is that? Is that another piglin? That looks like a piglin. So these dudes have like gold armor? That is very upsetting. Hey, you stinky warthog, get out of here. Stop. What? Okay, you're, you're more scared of me than I am of you, I guess? I don't know if that's true. I feel like you're like running to something that is going to hurt me. Hello, P pigman. It's great to see you. I'm, I'm glad you're here. You, do you attack me? Yes, you attack on sight. What's up with that? Why do these dudes got to attack on sight? Pigmen are way cooler about it, but those guys, piglin- Oh, the whole piglin army. Oh my gosh. No, please get away from me. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh, I thought that I could make it, obviously. I could not. As an introduction to the nether, that was a terrifying experience, but I gotta say, the new nether is very, very cool. Either way, that's gonna have to do it for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Seth, you wanna say goodbye to the people? Here. Give them a good old... Give him a good old fashioned goodbye. Okay. He doesn't want to say goodbye. He just wants to eat the microphone to each their own, I guess. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>